What's good, you guys? It's your boy Tristan, aka the Caramel Eater, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new, go on down and subscribe. We are almost at 300 subscribers. I would really love to hit 300 soon. And also, please go and hit the like button. And if you hit the like button, 10 years of good luck if you hit the like button. So go and smash that like button. I would love for us to hit 20 likes this week. So, I have a very different kind of video. It's a new segment and I want to call it Tea Talks. You get what I did there because tea, my name, Tristan T, but then tea as in you drink the tea and Come on, you know the vibes, you know the... <laughs> it's a segment called Tea Talks and basically I ask you guys a question on Instagram and this week's question was quite an interesting one because personally I feel a lot of us perceive this topic differently. The question was, when do you know you've fallen in love or when do you know when you are in love? And I got quite a few replies, so... When I find myself doing more than I should for the person, even if it's not reciprocated. Now, this is quite common, i found with a lot of people. And I think it's just due to you um, wanting to do more for them. Try and, you know, be there for them as best as you can. But at the end of the day, if you are happy with what you're doing for your significant other or your partner, then you shouldn't have a issue when it gets it becomes an issue when you're going above and beyond for them but not for yourself so kings stay a king queens stay a queen do things for yourselves make yourselves happy but yes i do agree you want to spoil them you want to make them happy so i completely understand that feeling safe because i hardly feel safe around anyone that's quite that's quite deep i'm not gonna lie that's quite a that's quite a deep quite a deep one actually but I do understand that they like your sense of security and some people are harder to love than others based based on their experiences and their lives and what they've had to go through and their hardships and their struggles if you feel that person makes you feel that certain way then oh hey you've been bitten by the love bug if you find out the answer let me know this is why I'm making this video this is why you are watching this video so you can understand yourself but um, I think the answer comes from within. See what I did there? The more you understand yourself, the more you'll understand how you love and how you want to be loved as well as how you show and appreciate people and how you love people. And that's how you also know whether you are in love too. You'll know your body, you'll know yourself, what's going on. So I wish you nothing but the best, but carry on watching, it might, it might help you. When I get butterflies, I have to say a lot of people said this. A lot of people have said this, you know, it makes you feel like, you know, the butterflies inside your stomach or makes you feel like anxious and makes you like smile and this and that. An indication that your emotions are running quite high. You get very nervous when you, when they text you or when they phone you or when you speak to them, when you, when it, whatever it has to do with them, that you just get nervous, you get butterflies in your stomach. It means really care for them, I personally think. By the way, I will get to what I think at the end of the video i just want to go through everyone's perspectives yeah when you can't picture living your life without that person by your side and i think someone else said this as well yes very very true very very true you start picturing a future together and i think that is the first sign of love in my opinion because when you start like picturing like you guys living 10 years into the future it's a good indication that you see those qualities of like partnership with them however don't i don't know how to explain it. don't like don't think like that too early like because then if the relationship ends then that person's not going to be a part of those future plans you know what i'm saying unless you rekindle things later on yeah i personally think that is a very big one you start picturing yourself with them in the future and living with them and all, all that kind of stuff so i think that is a very standard a standard thing to know whether you are in love thinking about losing them hurts I think it goes hand in hand with the with the one before but bear in mind that sometimes if you love someone you have to let it go I know it sounds really cliche 
but sometimes you know you might love someone but sometimes you might not be compatible with each other sometimes you might not see eye to eye with basic things sometimes you on one path and she's on another path or he's another path and you on another path and then you guys just diverge instead of converging english but yeah like i understand that losing them would hurt if you think about it i it means that you have a, a connection to them emotionally and socially obviously but at the end of the day if they gotta go they gotta go like that's life everyone walks in and out of your life that's just how life goes don't be afraid to let people go even if you really love them even if you are with them don't be afraid if it's not for you it's not for you if it's worth fighting for then fight damn it <laughs> fight for it okay but if you feel that there's something better for you and her better for you better for you and him out there allow them to grow allow yourselves to grow and prosper i'm still impressed with my english skills when she chooses tea over coffee i have to agree with this one i have to really agree because i'm a tea man myself tea tea talk you see what i'm saying it's, this was meant to be if she is a coffee drinker bro and you a tea drinker Try to break it to you that this might not work. So this one is a two-parter. When you start visualizing a future with them, also along with the physical attraction, you have a strong friendship. So I basically spoke about the visualizing a future with them, right? But along with the physical attraction, you have a strong friendship. I have a theory. You are gonna end up marrying your best friend. Let's be honest. You with this person for the rest of your life, they with you for the rest of their life. If it's boring, they're not gonna stick around. You know what I mean? Like, it's not gonna work. We are humans, right? We are human, and physical attraction is a thing. I understand people say looks don't matter. That's cap. They must stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. <laughs> stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. They must just be honest with themselves and say if someone is better looking than another person, they will be naturally attracted to them. Or if they have, if you have a type, you will be naturally attracted to them. And that's how it goes. But along with that, you can't have a really gorgeous guy or a gorgeous girl and for them to have a personality of a freaking plank. When you want to see that person more and more often and don't get tired of spending time with or being around them. I agree with this. I agree with, with this 100%. Their company doesn't get stale. That means that the company that you spend with them does not get stale. They don't get stale for you. As I said before, it ties in with marrying your best friend or being with one of your best friends, okay? But it gets to a point, right, where you guys need to be apart in order to grow as an individual. I understand there's this notion of like, oh, you know, couples who do everything together are so amazing. Personally, for me, like, I'm a person who likes to do things on my own, something, right? Not saying I don't want to do everything on my own in general, but what I'm saying is that there's are certain things that I like to do on my own. So like going out with my friends, making my music, going and playing a sport, or going to go and play sport with, with the guys or whatever. I understand that 100%. But it gets to a point where it will get stale. You start acting out of character. Now, <laughs> I think this pertains to like trying to impress them even more. You know what I mean? So like you sort of act out of character a little bit. And I can agree with that. But you must never change for anyone. Don't be someone you're not. You know what I'm saying? They must love you and appreciate you and like you for you. So if I'm really weird, my girlfriend needs to be even more weirder. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's how it's got to be. When my pee pee gets hard by just a hug. <gasps> Next. <laughs> Next. Last one. When I start getting butterflies whenever I see her, when she texts slash calls me, it goes with the butterfly thing. Your gut is telling you, bro, dude, you like her or you like him. Females, oh, I really like this guy, or I really like this girl, or whatever, you know? Trust your gut, always. I always have the saying that your gut is your inner self telling you what to do. So now, my opinion, my, my answer to the question, when do I know I'm in love, or when do I know I've fallen in love? I think it's got everything to do with every little part of what everyone has said. Like they all correlate with each other, they all relate, they all mend together, they all basically like the same 
ish thing, right? I know I'm in love when I am at peace with them. You know what I mean? Like, I can be myself with them and I don't have to step on eggshells to be myself around them. Like, I can just be 110% completely myself without fearing judgment. I'm also feeling like I, I also feel like I'm in love with someone when I can just go to them about and talk to them about absolutely anything, zero judgment. Either they tell me Tristan, you're being dumb, don't do it, or they just listen, or like they just like they 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 unapologetically themselves in that aspect where they aren't afraid to tell you off if you're wrong. You know what I mean? I think I know when I'm in love is when my gut tells me. Like I've got this thing where I follow my gut feeling all the time for a lot of decisions that I have to make in my life, and I've, I I won't say like I'm, I'm one to give out my love for someone freely. You know what I'm saying? Like in in like a relationship aspect, but as in, in in friendships, I love all my friends. I love you guys too. But in terms of a relationship aspect, I'm not one to give it out like that easy. So. If someone really fits in with me and how my fa and my family and and my mom and my dad and her like men together well because personally my mom and dad are like my best friends and they here at the house 24 7 so if they have good vibes and there's good energy with them then it's easy because like you know I just feel like they are part of the puzzle like that's that is something right when they fit in the puzzle that's when I know I'm in love, basically. So I'd like to say thank you guys so much for coming to the first ever Tea Talk. Please do comment below what kind of topics you guys want to hear. Go down and comment. Go crazy. Share this with your friends. I'd love to also get some comments down below. When do you know you are in love? Like, I would love to know. Anyways, guys, I'm going to head out now. And I'm going to catch you later. Peace!